a gift in secret pacifieth anger. Giving all praises to Yahweh Bahasham Yahushai, Bahasham Racha Kodash, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well and labor in the word and doctrine. And shalom to the elect. So Proverbs 21 and 14 A gift in secret pacifieth anger, and a reward in the bosom, strong wrath. So knowing what you know of this truth, who, who you are, who these other nations are, prophecy, history what's happened and what is to happen. You have to maintain integrity at all times, you know, and keep and maintain until the end. You know, he that endured to the end, the same shall be saved. That's what Yahweh Shai said. So you have to beware of gifts. This is Ecclesiastes chapter seven and verse seven. Surely oppression maketh the wise man mad, and a gift destroyeth the heart. Right, so oppression is naturally going to fire people up. But then, if you if you're given a gift, you know it might pacify the anger. And anger for oppression is a rightful anger, a just anger. Or indignation. So you have to be very careful. You know, and it's it's a very easy slippery slope to get into. You know, someone gifts you something or lets you off of, you know, a, a charge. I don't mean a charge like that, but anything. You know, looks over a transgression. You're going to be inclined to be more favourable unto them. You know, that's why it's dangerous. In fact, that's why it's very dangerous. So if someone gives you some money, then you don't rebuke them. You know, someone gives you a material possession, then you you reconsider the reproof. You know, being too harsh on them, maybe not too harsh, but being harsh. You know, rebuke, reprove, in season, out of season. This is Second Timothy chapter two. Second Timothy chapter four. Verse 2, it says, Preach the word, be instant in season, out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exalt with all long suffering and doctrine. And if your heart's been destroyed through gifts, presence, it's very difficult to reprove honestly, to rebuke honestly. Because you feel indebted to that person. So beware of this shit. Even if it's family, you, know, you get given a, a whatever it is, and then are you going to still maintain the faith? And if you're asked a question, are you going to answer it honestly? Or are you going to be considering, well, you know, that person, they did do good for me. You can't do that shit. Okay, you cannot pervert judgment. Let's search up perverting judgment. Pervert means to some, change something around, to switch it around. I spot judgment wrong. Right. Deuteronomy 16 and 9. Thou shalt not rest judgment. What does rest mean? It means wrestle. Let's get the Hebrew word for that. The word for rest. Na'aya. So lucky. Nata. Nata. I thought that was an eye. I got screen cracked. Right, so nata, nata. To stretch out, extend, spread out, pitch, turn, pervert, incline, bend, bow. I'm not going to read them all. You know, bend it. That's what they say as well in the world. Oh, I didn't lie. I just stretched the truth. What did you stretch it into? You stretched it into a lie. You stretched it into an untruth. Therefore, it's not of truth. Deuteronomy 16 and 19 and full. Thou shalt not rest judgment. Thou shalt not respect persons. Neither take a gift. Why not? For a gift doth blind the eyes of the wise and pervert the words of the righteous. Let's see what the word is. The word for gift here 
is shakhad, right? Shakhad says present bribe, and you have that in politics. A couple of days back, I mentioned that in a video, that money, the love of money being the root of all evil, because it becomes an idol. You know, people will compromise them. People without integrity will compromise their morals for money. They'll, they'll do anything for the money. Now, that's a saying among Jake. I'll do anything for money. You know, like as, as a bragging thing. That's not good. If you're hardworking, if you're industrious, of course, that's good. But if you're talking about you'll do some left-handed shit for money, that's nothing to brag about. Yeah, that's something you need to repent for. So shakhad, present bribe, and then it says gift ten times, reward seven times, bribes three times, present two, bribery once. So you see here, the, a gift, this word specifically, is interchangeable. Gift, bribe, it's the same word. And we're to be, when it's all said and done, the kings and priests. Right? And they're held to a higher standard than the rest of a general population. That's why when there's a scandal of even celebrities, you know, they are celebrated. Look up that word celebrity. They are celebrated and they're put on a pedestal. That's why they'll do some, let's say a celebrity, and this is just a, a hypothetical, Litters, you know, they throw chewing gum on the floor or throw a, a sweet wrapper on the floor. Yeah, that's not great. But they would get absolutely slaughtered in the media. I don't mean literally. You know, they'd get their name dragged for the littlest shit. And I'm not saying this has actually happened, but it's just a hypothetical example. Because they are held to a higher degree because they're in the public eye. Right, but that's always been a concept of them that are deemed to be on a higher level than general people, they're held to a higher standard. And that makes sense, right? Maybe it doesn't make sense for celebrities, you know, people that are thotting about and that's how they came into their... Everyone came into knowledge of them, for example, you know, doing some, you know, wicked shit. That's generally how celebrities get celebrated. But now we're talking about the kings and the priests upon the earth. You know, so you have to be very careful and beware of gifts, you know, which is also a bribe, like it said in that word. So Isaiah 61 and 5, and this is talking about the other nations in the kingdom of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai when it's made manifest on earth in the physical. It says, And strangers shall stand and feed your flocks, and the sons of the alien and the sons of the alien shall be your plowmen and your vine dressers. So that's going into the other nations. But now it's contrasting to the Israelites, verse 6. But ye shall be named the priests of Yahweh. Men shall call you the ministers of our power. Ye shall eat the riches of the Gentiles. And in their glory shall ye boast yourselves. So when it's all said and done, and when this world, this side, is all said and done, the Israelites are going to get the rulership. Right? And if we're striving for mastery, on the right hand side, this is something we need to be very careful of, gifts. It's also a sin. You know, we've read it there about wrestling with judgment. Deuteronomy 24 and 17. Thou shalt not pervert the judgment of the stranger, nor of the fatherless, nor take a widow's raiment to pledge. The next verse as well, verse 18. But thou shalt remember that thou wast a bondman in Egypt, and Yahweh thy power redeemed thee thence. Therefore I command thee to do this thing. So the Lord wasn't, didn't have to take us out of Egypt. You know, of course he did because that was his decree. And when you get into it, that was his promise. But a lot of our people are ungrateful. A lot of our people are ungrateful. You know, we could have caught even more hell under the Egyptians. You know, and we weren't behaving as an Israelite. What do I mean by that? We weren't behaving as a prince of the power. What does Israel mean? Yashar Allah. He is a prince of the power. We were not behaving like unto princes of the power. 
But guess what? The Lord still redeemed us. You know, and even after that, what did Jake do? He wants to make idols, make a golden calf. You know, he wants to pervert judgment. Go against what the, the law, what the Lord has set up as the law, which is perfect. All right, converting the soul, making wise the simple. But Jake always thinks he can do it better. He can do better than the Lord. This is Deuteronomy 27, 19. Cursed be he that perverteth the judgment of the stranger, fatherless and widow, and all the people shall say, Amen. So you see how serious this is. Be very wary of this. Okay, yeah, this is a perfect example. talks about let's find this at right, Sirach 49 and 4 all except David and Hezekiah and Josiah were defective right so Hezekiah Josiah were defective sorry all except David Hezekiah and Josiah for context were defective for they sucked the Lord the Most High even the kings of Judah failed Okay, and you can read in the first Samuel 8 how it well you can read it how it played out. You know, now we'll have the King Yahawashai, you know, and we will have King David in the kingdom. Okay, but it was meant to be that the Heavenly Father, he's known as what? The King of Terrors. He's meant to be our king. You know, but Jake's wants loves strangers, wants to be like unto them. Proverbs 17 and 23. I'll just read a few of these and then wrap it up. A wicked man taketh a gift out of the bosom to pervert the ways of judgment. It is not for kings. Okay, Proverbs 31 and starting at verse 4. It is not for kings or Lemuel. It is not for kings to drink wine, nor princes strong drink, lest they drink and forget the law and pervert the judgment of any of the afflicted. But what are our people? Drunk off the wine of Babylon, and that's absolutely perverted their judgment. But even literal wine, you drink too much of it, you know, many problems can come. Scriptures talk about wine and women can make men of understanding fall away, paraphrasing it. You know, and again, we're to be them kings and priests. 
There's certain things we need to be aware of that will cause us to pervert judgment. You know, and be wary of. I get this last one. Ecclesiastes 5 and 8. If thou seest the oppression of the poor and violent perverting of judgment and justice in a province, marvel not at that matter. For he that is higher than the highest regardeth, and there be higher than they. So you'll see what's going on. Babylon the Great, their sins have reached high, you know, even unto the heavens. Revelation 18 and 5, for her sins have reached unto heaven, and the Most High hath remembered her iniquities. All right, so the, the Lord has not forgot the evilness, wickedness of Babylon. So don't take a gift, don't side with Babylon. Because you, know, you know where you'll end up. You'll be missile food. Or whatever other ma manner of judgment that goes out on the earth, but beware, you know, take take caution of gifts. Next video, Lord willing, shalom.